10 anglers, five competition days, two groups. Yes. And one trophy. Come on. The YPC Bank UK 2023 is proudly brought to you by Predator Tackle and LMAB. Every great story starts with a cast. Hello fellow friends of Cultured Fishing Madness and welcome to the final and deciding episode of this tournament. By the end of today, we will know who takes home the coveted trophy and becomes the first ever YPC Bank UK champion. As has been the case throughout the preliminary round, Chris has shown no weakness in the first half of the final and currently leads with four solid fish and 15 top water points, followed by Ryan, who also already has his sights set on the full card. However, he still has some catching up to do in terms of fish size. Yorkshire's very own Pike Whisperer AD is in third place and has already bagged a good perch in addition to a splendid 85 centimetre specimen of his number one target fish. Ash, meanwhile, is the only angler with just one fish, albeit one that will be very tough to beat. Still, the gunky man desperately needs a few more to keep his chances alive, but he's already working on it. That's, that's probably a legal fish. It's going to be tight. Yeah, he's going to, oh, it's going to be close, that one. Or is he just under? He, I think he's just under, actually. I think it's under. Yeah, yeah so we've got 24 centimetre, 24 centimetre top water perch. That's one of the top water fish down. So. Not only is he worth, what's that, 48 points, he's worth another 15 points because he's caught on top water. So for a small fish, he's a high scoring fish. So we're going to get him straight back, persevere here for a little bit longer because there are fish of similar size to this here in numbers. We just need one more, then we can, uh, we can forget about the perch for a while and then go out on the pike again. Beautiful little fish. Now that's a start. 63 important points put in Ash ahead of 80 for the time being. For Mr Woodchucker, in contrast, things aren't going quite so smoothly at the moment. I just don't know. I need all this back on this reel. I mean, it's just, it's not going anywhere. Right, that's something to worry about another day, mate, unfortunately. Now we bag fish, my friend. Perch loads are going away. Let's try and snare that pike now. We need two pike and another perch. And it's 12 o'clock. We're four and a half hours fishing left. Four and a half hours. Let's go. Uh, oh, actually, I don't think a pike fish is. Might as well give it a kick. quick cast while we're here. Here he comes, here he comes, it's a good fish, good fish. That's a two. No! He's well undersized. Got it. Oh no. That's maybe a 20. Beautiful looking fish, regardless. Well, that's definitely a full card anyway. The oh, 28. Just come to the halfway point of this day and we've already filled the card. That puts me in a great position going into this afternoon. Fingers crossed we can improve and hopefully secure a win.
Not to get too ahead of himself, but of course, with a full card at lunchtime, Chris relieves himself of some tension early on and now can consider exactly how he wants to tackle the remaining hours. Ash's situation is nowhere near as comfortable, but his composure, as ever, remains unfazed. So we have caught quite a few fish from this spot, all on top water, but um, they've stopped chasing now, they've stopped coming up, so we're going to move spot now. And uh, it's uh, even though it's the final, I think it's uh, there's no point getting too panicked or anything about filling the card quickly. We've got plenty of time left, um, and it's been quite an enjoyable day so far. We've seen some amazing sights with big perch chasing bait fish and things like that. So if it was to end now, just with those two fish, I'm not going to complain. It's it's been epic. So. We've still got plenty of time, like I said, so we're going to move spot now and we're going to see if we can get just one more top water fish and then we're going to chase the pike, which I'm really not looking forward to because they really kicked our arse yesterday. So that's the plan anyway. We're going to move now. We'll wait for these guys to go past. Come on, hurry up, girls. Morning. Not even follows now. I think them kayaks are just... I think them kayaks have just completely spooked that shoal of perch. Um, nothing you can do with other river users. But what we'll do, we'll try a chatterbait. Um, nothing on that, we'll put a crank on. If not, we'll try and Texas rig this. It's quite snaggy down there. But they might have just, just gone to ground. Right, so we've just changed spots. We've just got here, so we get straight on with the fishing because we just, like I say, just need one fish and then we can move and go for the pipe. water challenge done so get him on the mat really quickly we'll get him back quickly and then we've got to go chase my favorite fish bloody pike yeah 27 centimeter perch again it's not a big fish but it's job done for the top water so yeah we're in a good position at the minute but it all comes down to just like yesterday the pike and if we can catch them personally i think the best thing to do would be to then go back for perch to try to upgrade this one and the other top water fish but uh gotta get those pike ash is right back on track now only the pike need to cooperate before our self-confessed perch aficionado gets down to the unfinished business let's take a quick look at today's top water weapon of choice so um yesterday was all about the hedora poppers today it's been all about the megalon um poppers yesterday got all the top water points the Megalon today has got us a top water points. So you can see the mood that the fish are in and then you can choose a lure to match the fish. They was chasing, but they wouldn't commit. So something fished a bit quicker, like a walk the dog style bait, like this Megalon, works straight away. So top water done, perch done, pike next. So we were just about to get the chat bait rod out, but we've just seen on the far side three fish completely smash the fry into the margins so we're gonna get back on the top waters give it literally five casts if nothing then we're gonna get chatterbaits back out here we go here we go come on come on yes ah oh, little fish tiny he's not an upgrade on the 25 thank you girl come on come on he's coming for it he's still coming still coming oh they're tiny really small missed it got him now that could be an upgrade on the 25. Let's go to the net. Oh, look at them all. Oh, massive one behind. Did you see them fish behind? Just under 28, so it's over the 27 and a half, so that's a cancel the 28 centimeter. So that means that's knocked my 22 centimeter off. We need one more pipe for the full car, but at least we're getting the upgrades. And that's my second top water fish as well. So that's another, that's my two bonus points to top water. Get it, I completely forgot that bit. So that's two top water fish, four perch and a pike. Let's get it back. 
there's bigger ones here. We've seen four now, at least four fours, and it is, it could get really, really exciting. See, look, look, look I'm taking, they're taking the top. See the ripples? Can you see that on the camera? There you go, there you go. You get this, James? They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. They're coming, come on, take it, take it. Yep. Got him, oh, little one. Look, oh, they've all, where's the big ones gone? Oh, he's not in the net, he's not in. It's right, he's here, he's here. Now he is. Let's get a good lip grip so he doesn't flip back in. 32 centimetres, 32 centimetres off the top. Uh, we won't get the bonus points back because we've already got our two bonuses now for this. Let's get this one back and we'll try and get a bigger one. <laughs> Come on! The Perch are really in the mood today. After Ash, Ryan also bags himself the maximum top water bonus. And on top of that, receives a substantial upgrade. Chris shouldn't be getting too confident here. Right, I've just tied on a top water bait. We've got some chub downstream. Um, I filled my card. The only thing I need extra is the top water point because um, I've already got one. And then we've filled the card, both top water points, and we'll just work on upgrading then. So fingers crossed I can get another one. I'm just trying to see where they are. We're just a bit downstream. Yep. Oh, just turned away again. The rising right up to the surface and just changing the mind at the last second. Might be this wind, it's putting a bow in my line and dragging it a bit far to the left. There we go. Oh, that's a smaller one. Come on. It's getting very close, they really want it. This is frustrating. I know there's a few more chub downstream, I'll try for those because these have wised up already, I think. This spot here, gonna give it a couple of minutes, not long. If the pike are here, you'll either catch them or you won't. Shouldn't take long. Uh, and then we can move to other areas. Right, so, with the pike fishing, it's not like the perch fishing where I'm trying to grind a big fish out or something like that. I just want to fish, move, fish, move. And we, we might end up hitting a lot of spots, but it would be really good to get these pike out of the way. And then we can do what I like, really enjoy doing, which is trying to catch another big perch to upgrade the two little ones. See also what can be really effective with fishing chatterbaits. Letting it sink to the bottom and then just lift your rod tip up till you still start to feel that blade vibrating and then let it sink again. But that's not really an option with this type of venue because it's just going to bury itself in the weed and it, you're just going to cause yourself problems. So it's more or less cast it in with fishing very shallow water. So there's no need to let it sink and then just pretty much as a straightforward retrieve. It's nothing difficult about this style of fishing, um, but it's more to do with the venue than the technique. Oh, that's a perch, but I had to smash it top water. No, I reeled it in, thinking there was nothing behind it, and there was. I don't think it was very big, but if it was a prue, it was 22 centimetre, then that would have been a bonus point grab. Ah, oh, I'm good about that. Just threw away the bonus point there. Perch. Oh, it's a jack. Oh, is that going to be approved? No way, way too small. Ah, oh, I thought that was that perch that I missed. Oh, you little bugger. What's the approved pike size? It's got a beautiful little pike on the top water, unfortunately. It doesn't count because it's not the approved size, but never mind, let's drop him down here, where he came from. See you later, bud. So this is the first bit of river that we've come to. It's actually presentable on the bottom. So we'll probably get a good 10, 15 minutes here with the free rig, with the free rig, just to see if them perch have dropped right down. It looks probably eight, eight to 10 foot, but you can almost, almost see the bottom in the middle there. A little chub following it. There's the perch right at the back. They're shooting around, the, they're definitely chasing minnows. One of them's a, Big 30. It's right at the back though. I'm gonna have to put Ned, one of them Ned baits on. Changing the top water off. 
they are blowing um, minnows up against the sluice gate on the far bank. But the problem is I can't get that little top water bait over there far enough to get to them. So I'm just changing back over to the, the, the good old rig that I've been using all day. Just a Ned bait on a standard jig head. Blast it right over to the far wall and fingers crossed we'll get an upgrade. And that is why you don't cast trebles <laughs> to far margins with chains hanging down. Right, let's go get it. Those spots just look like any second someone's just going to roll up behind it and thump it off surface like that, like last one did. Get in! Oh! God, that's been hard. 75? 75, yes. Literally, this has been a mile of fruitless, apart from a nice perch, as you'll see earlier. But we've just got this pike. I think it went 75. 75. So yeah, it's a nice one. I'm just about to put it back. It's only a small fish, but I'll tell you what, I've worked for that fish. I have worked for that fish. Mwah! Thank you very much, darling. We'll let her go and then uh, we'll get his net back. It's floating away downstream. The dry spell is over. AD is back and now tied with Ash Costa. This has very rarely happened at the YPC so far. Oh, that was a hit. Oh, fucking hell. If it was a pike, I don't think it would have been legal. It's just nice to get a hit, but uh, it's either a perch or it was a tiny pike. I got a little bit overexcited there. <laughs> I think we should uh, probably go on a river because these, this is the second day in a row that they're just not producing fit, like the pike are just not having it. You know, it's, it's not, we're given the time of year and the conditions as well. I don't feel that comfortable targeting pike on these type of venues anyway. So I think we've got two options with rivers. We're going to fish one of those now. It'd be more difficult because the pike, you know, they're not that easy to catch out there, but I think, you know, we, we need two pike. So it's, uh, we're going to have to do it. So that's, that's the plan anyway. Let's go. We were just about to pack up there. <laughs> We've just seen two 40s just go straight past us. So we have a, just a couple of casts on the bottom. They were right along the, the deck there. No, let's go, let's go. We need a pike. That's what we need now. We can upgrade after. Once we've got the pike, then we look at upgrading. So back to the van, another spot. See you in a second. Right, so um, we've come back to the spot we started on this morning. We need a point and we need a pike off the surface. I think it's a possibility on this spot. I've had, I had two the other day, but now it's like desperate times. I've got to catch this fish. So what I've been doing, I've been going through it surface lower and I've going through with a guppy. Guppy's caught all fish. So it's worth just going through again. We're at the tail end of the pool rather than the top end of the pool, but we will fish up there. This morning I got a take and it whacked me in the ribs. So it were a decent fish, 65, 70 plus. Decent, but you know what I mean? It's a qualifying fish. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to work it with guppy now and they're going to move into the hot peg and see if they're there. So yeah, uh, found a spot on Google Maps and it looked really, really good. But access is really, really hard. This is the first fishable spot that we've actually come across. That's, well, nearly a mile. So we're going to play it by ear here. We might be making a move pretty sharpish. These Abu Garcia beasts rattles have just <laughs> make life so much easier and they are noisy. Simply shallow screw it in and listen to that. So by putting that rattle on the tail, when I pause it and it falls through the water, that rattle's still going and a nice slow retrieve, that's really kicking, real slow roll. So just fingers crossed, these pike are on it today. It's been tough again for the pike. We actually moved to a river, got a little bit distracted because we saw some really, really big chub and we had to have a go. And there was a chance in that spot of upgrading the perch as well. But we've abandoned that because you can get preoccupied doing things like that for too long. And we've come to a, uh, another river and we're going to go with two plans of attack. We're going to have the chatterbaits again, uh, the bladed jigs again, uh, purely because of uh, the weed issues. But we're also going to rig up some small shads 
and basically go for the pike as if we were perch fishing because how many times do you go perch fishing and catch pike? So if the chatter baits don't work, we're going to uh, downsize massively. So we don't, we're not after big fish. We just need two to fill that card. There's two days in a row now, they've just proven so difficult. It's unbelievable. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw a swerve ball in. That is probably the most beaten up <laughs> wolf tail I've ever seen. It's caught me so many good fish, this. So many good fish. You just never know. The pool's big enough to be able to bring it through. It's got a lot of movement. You'll see tail moving from distance. I just hope it don't get affected too much by the drag of the uh, float either side. But we'll give it a run through here, then I'll try and cast it as far as I can, because it's quite heavy. It casts quite well. So I don't expect to tap it. She was just engulfed. Some of the best takes I've ever seen. I've been on wolf tails close in. So first cast in the new spot. Does look really good here. Got quite deep water. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a pike. No, 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 no. No, 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 I know you all want to go home. I know you all want to go home, but please. <laughs> this is an upgrade. Yeah. Well, don't I need a pike? Oh, a big perch. Two pound perch. That's a 40 centimeter perch as well. That's what I was after, not a pike. The pike scared the perch off. That's an upgrade, isn't it? It upgrades from the smallest perch, doesn't it? A 28. Caught on the LMAB finesse fillet crow. Didn't break me off, thank God for that. And that is an upgrade. A very, very welcome one. Let's have a look. That is 77. 77 centimetres. And it's a fantastic fish to add to the scoreboard. And a wicked upgrade. <laughs> Let's get this one back and try and get a big perch to end it on. Well, it might not be their main prey, but still, pike rarely say no to a nice crayfish. A decent upgrade for Chris, who is slowly pulling away at the top and is now slowly putting some daylight between himself and the other competitors. Quite clearly, they really shouldn't waste any more time. If I get fucking done for parking now, I will not be happy. If I get done for parking now, I will not be happy. <sighs> Just give me strength, mate. Right, we've taken a really big gamble just then. Um, it's taken us 55 minutes to get to this spot. So we've got an hour and 35 minutes now. Go all out pike now for the full card. And if I get that, um, well, we'll see. It's tough, it's been very tough. I'm hoping one pike and then we'll try and upgrade the perch. There is fish topping everywhere. So I'm gonna cut to it and just get this cast in. There's pike, there's pike smashing behind James, pike smashing behind top waters, top waters, top waters, top waters. We might have to put this on the other rod. Um, it's probably you now a 15, 20 yards past what the bait caster can do. Predator Tackle is the largest independent lure shop here within the UK. We have a vast range of rods, reels, and along with 90 meters of lures on display for you to choose from. We pride ourselves on having the right products that you need for the beginner to the professional. To celebrate the final day of the YPC Bank UK, Predator Tackle would like to offer you, the YPC viewer, a very special gift over this festive period by giving you a little bit extra within your orders. It's very easy, we have three prize bundles to suit your budget. 
Simply spend £30 or more on anything from Predator Tackle and you receive a packet of lures absolutely free. Spend £60 or more and receive three packets of lures or for those big spenders, any orders over £100 or more and you receive five packets of lures absolutely free. All the free lures will come from some of our premium brands that we stock here at Predator Tackle, like Z-Man, Mullix, Rapala, Spro Freestyle, Western, Gunky, or Headbanger. This giveaway promotion runs from the 24th of December to the 7th of January and is only valid for one bundle per customer. So make sure you enter the code YPCUK in the promo box at the checkout to receive your free bundle. Oh, it looks a bit coloured. Oh, the chub were there and I've just spooked him. A bit heavy footed, it's because I'm losing the will. <laughs> Caught in red ant bites. Missed it. At least I got a blow up though. Come on, you bonus chub. Oh, straight up for it. Ready, steady. Nope, just changed his mind. <sighs> oh, what was that? I didn't see it because I was swatting a red ant off my arm. Ah, oh, that's infuriating. Red ant's costing me fish now. There we go. Ooh, that was close. That was really close. Oh, here goes another chance. He's right under it. He's changed his mind. Damn it, I missed a chance because of a bloody red ant. Here he comes. That's a big perch. That is a massive perch chasing it. Look at that. Look, he's going to go for it. He's going to go for it. That's a four pound perch. Oh. <gasps> He's going, come on, come on, come on. He is going for the shad. Can you see that, James? That is a massive perch there, going for a 25 centimetre. There's two of them. There is two massive perch. Where have they gone? Where have they gone? This is not going to plan at all, is it? See a pike. Chuck a pipe bait on, two massive perches come straight up. That was like twice the length for that, that shad. And that shad's 25 centimetres. <laughs> Here we go, follow, perch. Oh, I let him have that for a second as well. That would have been an approved top water fish. Motherfucker. I said I might get a top water perch here. I let it take it as well and watch your line go. I should just grab the tentacles or something. There we go, that's another one. Missed it. Yes! Top wild perch and it might be an upgrade. Oh, get in. That's an upgrade and a top water point. <laughs> Look at that bait, it is gone down there. Oh, so it needs to be 33 and we've got a 34. <laughs> so we have actually got an upgrade. Awesome. Beautiful perch as well. Chris isn't exactly making it easy for the competitors. He's still missing a truly exceptional fish, but now his scoreboard is already really strong. And with an hour and a half to go, things are looking good for him. In theory, there's time, but AD, Ash and Ryan need to shift into top gear really soon. Finally just had another perch in the afternoon, got the second bonus top water point in the session and had an ever so slight centimetre upgrade, um, but I've just had the second cast out in the swim and another perch has followed it in, I think it's another upgrade, but we don't need the top water point, so I'm going to put on a bottom bait now, back to maybe the finesse fillet craw and I'm going to see if we can pick up another slight upgrade in the swim as well. There we go. No, small perch chicken. No, 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 don't you dare take it, I need a big perch. It must be a 35. Oh, look at him, look at the perch, look at the perch behind him, two of them. Look at the size of that one! And he's, what are they doing following this lure? Look at that, compare that to... Smaller perch again. We'll just catch one for the sake of it, you ready? 
big one's coming as well. Digging keeps following it in. I'm trying to think of maybe I should put a soft plastic bait on, but they do seem to like this hard bait. There we go. There we go. Big perch, big perch, big perch. Oh, it's just shied off. I was stuck on the weed, god damn it. Yes! Oh, he's out! That was a perch. That was a perch. That was it. Got him that time. Got him that time. Oh, he's off again! It is too small a fish. I need to get a smaller bait. Oh. That was a small fish. That was fish just, just lazing behind. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at that bait. <laughs> Dude, it's like a freight drain, bless him. Because it smacked into my paddle tail swim bait and I'm going to assume he's not going to fancy that same action again because he's already been sort of mugged once. So completely different action bait might be enough to tempt him. We'll find out. Nah, he's not really interested. He's, he didn't like getting mugged off the first time. Different pike. Smaller one, I think. Ooh, spooked off. Let's put on the biggest bait I've got. The ULM Laws Gigabyte V2. A perch about that big as well. Got it. Got it. It's not a monster. It's come off in net, but I think it's bigger. Gotta have work for that. Definitely not the biggest perch I've ever caught in my life, but could be one of the most important. 27. Mm -hmm. You happy? Yep. Can't tell you how hard we've done today to trap fish down. Just one more pike to fill the card. Mm -hmm. One more pint to fill the card. This spot looks prime now, so we'll stop messing about with perch and we'll try and catch one. Let's get it back. Second place for 80, but without the top water points, it would take an exceptional pike to take the lead here. Perhaps our veteran has miscalculated his tactics a little, and the way Ash is fishing here doesn't quite correlate with the blank spots he still needs to fill on his card. You hear him? Striking at the bait is there. I'm on my job, I get it done, but you should know that. Shine like a sun of one on one, you should know that. I get the front and in the back, you should know that. No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that. That is an upgrade. Can't catch pike to save my life, but I can certainly catch them. <laughs> that all I can catch. So that fish came on a, uh, it's such a simple yet deadly way of catching these fish. We'll get it measured, put back, and then I'll just tell you about how he caught that fish. It's actually, hook's come out, sort of gone through his lip. So just need to tell what to do, make that easy, we'll just bite it off. We'll try that again in a minute. He is 36.5, just over. You see his nose touching there, so he's 37 centimetre. Pleased with that one, it's been a while since we've had a, had a fish, so. It's the most simple way of fishing 
but it, it's been one of the most effective for quite a few years for me now. And it's just an EWG hook, a gunky kiddie, 10 centimetre one is my favourite for this. You can use the bigger one or the smaller one, but it's got a nice weight that, and because we're going to be fishing this weightless, you'll be surprised how far that will cast. So all we do, literally, is Texas rig it. Uh, so literally, just cast that out. Um, you can either let it sink to the bottom and then just give it a couple of twitches of the rod. It's basically it's just a soft plastic jerk bait. Um, but how I like to fish it in the summer is cast it out and then just fish it really aggressively. And it's got that walk the dog style action if you do it quick enough because it will stay on the surface. Or if you let it sink a little bit um, and just fish it like a jerk bait. But it's really good in weedy situations because it's got no exposed hook points. You can fish it through most things. It's, it's really, really effective. Like I say, just there, it's um, the first proper skip through into the tunnel uh, that I've not messed up. And uh, straight away that fish was on it. We've got just over an hour left. It's sort of in two minds where we're just to finish up having fun with a perch. But I think we're going to maybe have one, two more casts into that tunnel. We're going to switch to a different river. And then we're just going to grind out that last part. Hope we can drop on two pike to fill the card. Not very confident with a pike to be honest. Um, but that's the plan anyway, and we'll see if it works. The weather's not helped us at all today. You know, when we found out the nice weather, it looked, it looked very, very pikey to me. You know, when we got up this morning, looked out the window, it's like, yeah, it looks very pikey to me. It's not been well, is it, at all? Um, right, we're going to go on, on to end here. There's a little bit of a, an air on the end of here. We'd love to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of us. Snag, god damn it. Even got a wheelers bait on, still get the snags. Might be an upgrade. <laughs> oh, no, I just don't see how you can beat perch fishing. I think it's just so much fun. He's all right. That kiddie, you mate, is such a good lure for this type of fishing. <laughs> so I'm making a bit of a mess of this. <laughs> oh, son. Yes. That's definitely an upgrade. 38 centimetre perch, which is a big upgrade from the um, 27. So we've made two upgrades here now. Realistically, that's it now for the perch. As much fun as this is, we've got to go for the pike. We've not got long left. A similar situation to the group stage. Ash is doing everything in his power not to need the pike. But again, he won't be able to avoid them if he wants to win. However, with two in a really short space of time, the odds would be heavily stacked in his favour. It's just that speed that is not exactly his strong point. Really chunky fish, all the perch today have been really, really chunky. So nice to see to see these fish in the condition that they are. First one we had, the big one, was a bit of an old warrior, but these fish, <laughs> uh, these fish are absolutely immaculate. So, it's going to catch some pike. Well, I've had three blow ups the other side of the, the pontoon, all on top waters. All three have come off. The last one was an acrobatic pike that I've struck and I've got a massive bird's wind knot and yeah, just, if it's by one fish, I'll be livid. Um, so I'm now just chucking some bigger stuff just to see, I'm gonna give it, what's the time? It's just gone four o'clock. So I'm gonna give this 10 more minutes and I'm gonna try and upgrade my perch. Um, the pike, apart from that one surface one, just don't seem to be playing ball, so we'll just keep throwing until the fat lady sings. I know my destiny.
is what we needed. We've got the pike, now it's upgrade time. 62 centimeters there, absolutely incredible. First cast with a mirror's mouse, absolutely incredible. It, two turns on the handle, bang, fish on. This is now my full card, so it's time to upgrade. I'm gonna do five, maybe 10 more minutes on this, and I've got 15 minutes then to go to try and get one of these big perch that we've seen following the bigger shads. Gonna get this one back and we're gonna crack on. Tight lines, everyone. With 30 minutes to go, Ryan finally gets a full card and reclaims second place. The gap to the top of the table remains considerable though. In terms of average fish size, Ash and AD probably still have a better chance of challenging Chris in the remaining time. But even the silver medal would require another catch. And it appears that motivation and strength are waning a little. I'm soaking wet through. I'm hungry. I'm tired. But... We'll give it one last go in that spot. If we can get to it. Let's go. We've got 30 minutes. We've just got back to the last venue. And uh, we need a pipe. One will do. Oh, go on, take it, take it, take it. Oh my God. Take it. That was an upgrade. Oh, it's a follow though. Oh, God. He's just charged it and just stopped. Oh, now I've just spooked him. Oh. Oh. I think we're going to call it there. Um, got a few minutes left to fish, but we took a gamble. Hasn't paid off. I mean, <laughs> there's weed and then there's this, but can't be disappointed with today. I said, me and me and the cameraman have had an absolute blast. It's been brilliant all day. We've really tried to put them pike on the bank, but that's two days in a row now. They've just really not played ball. But you can't be disappointed when you know when we've had a um, a summer fish of four pound, forty eight centimetre, absolute giant. We've had some unbelievable top water hits on from the perch again. It's just been incredible. So we're not going to win, but. It doesn't really matter. It's just been great fun from start to finish. Big thanks to the cameraman. He's been amazing. And a big thanks to Gunky UK for, again, for all their support and that. They've been amazing too. So I hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully see you next year. This is it, guys. The final cast of YPC UK 2023. We're going back with the Mirus Mouse. Everyone in the finals, congratulations to whoever won. I think it's going to be Chris. It's gonna be tight. I've got a full card, which I didn't expect to do, but here we go. Last cast. Oh, that was the last cast, guys. Time up. I really hope I've done enough today to seal the win. Um, I'm not sure whether I have. I've managed to fill my card, which is great. I got the bonus fish. Uh, I didn't get as many big fish as I would have hoped for in the final to know, or at least to be confident on winning. But uh, fingers crossed, we're gonna go now. Head over to find the other guys and find out who's won. That's me, dude. YPC 2023 UK Special Edition. That's me, done. I've caught everything I can. A little bit gutted. I missed out on one fish this morning, a pike that had got me a full card, but we've worked hard. We've not gone to any canals, any drains, anywhere local. We've literally stayed down here on the Mighty Seven. What an amazing water. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed myself. It's a place I'll come back to again and again. 
good luck to everybody in the final. I don't know who's won it, but uh, whoever's won it and has beaten me deserves to win it. That's all I can say. Don't forget to catch me on Eddie Woodchucker YouTube channel. Um, and maybe I'll see you next year. And that, people, is a wrap. See you next year. Thank you for watching. So, everybody, that is it. In the end, it may have not been the heart-stopping final we were hoping for. However, it really leaves absolutely no doubt as to which of the 10 contestants is the most deserving winner of the inaugural YPC Bank UK title. And not to forget a starting slot at the YPC Bank 2024 in the Netherlands. So credit where credit is due. Let's switch over to Daniel, who will be announcing the results to our four contestants. So guys, that was it with our final. Some amazing fishing. A lot of fish came today. All of our finalists really put on a really great job and it was not easy fishing conditions. That's why these boys were in the final. They've all done an incredible job. We had four very different kind of anglers here in the final, I think. And you know what the results are, but the four are obviously now extremely nervous and waiting to hear the final results. Who's gonna have the first YouTube Predator Cup Bank UK trophy? And who's gonna have the wild card to come and fish in the YouTube Predator Cup Bank next year in Holland? Definitely one of you four. I'll try not to make it too long but I have to make it a little bit long. <laughs> <laughs> All of you had like some special catches today. Adrian and Ash, you yeah, both had, like I just said, some, some really amazing catches on the card, but unfortunately, without having a full card today, it's not gonna be enough to make yeah, it to win the tournament. Yeah. Well done, guys, you did an yeah. amazing job. Well yeah. And that brings us down to you two guys, Ryan and Chris. You both fished extremely well throughout the tournament. You were both in the group stages extremely strong. You were both extremely strong today. You both filled your cards. You both have the top order points. It was a really, really good competition between you guys. In the end, only one of you can win it. With almost 400 points, well done, Chris. You're our champion. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. So I'm going to come next to you guys in between here. Chris, you're the first YouTube Predator Cup UK champion. Well done, mate. Thank you very much, buddy. Great job. Cheers, thanks. We're going to see how you're going to manage in Holland next yeah, year. <laughs> you've got a drive. I'm green screening from my spots here. The good thing is a lot of people ride the bicycle in Holland. Oh, do so, they? Yeah, oh, so it's, right it's pretty fashionable. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Great, guys. Wow. Well done. Thank you very great, 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 great job. job. Awesome. God, I was really worried as well. Done. <laughs> done Excellent fishing, man. Cheers. Amazing perch, man. Yeah. At some stage, I said to him, man, you need to catch a pike. He was catching so many good, great perch. Really? Yeah, really good fish. Four pounder, Four pounder. man. Four pounder. Wow. Okay, folks, it's time to say goodbye. In the end, Chris Bartle wins the first YPC Bank UK final after a consistently excellent tournament performance. We'd also like to thank Ryan Dabbs, Adrian Mason, Ash Costa, and of course, all the other anglers for contributing to the first successful edition of the tournament, which we felt struck a very good balance between competitiveness and camaraderie. We'd also like to thank our sponsors, Predator Tackle and LMAB, and of course the cameramen, editors, graphic designers, writers, and all the other people who helped get this heartfelt project off the ground. We very much hope that you enjoyed it and that we can count on your support for future editions. If you have any suggestions, praise or criticism, please write us a comment. The best way you can show us your support is to continue watching our videos throughout the year. And of course, look out for any of our participating brands at your local tackle dealer. By the way, a small tip to all you bass enthusiasts. At the end of January, the YPC Bass 2024 starts with many English speaking participants and English subtitles on the main Hetch and Barsh YouTube channel. So if you want to experience a completely different kind of tournament fishing, tune in. We'd be delighted. With all that said, there's really not much left to say, except perhaps it was an absolute pleasure to narrate this tournament for you all, and I really hope to see you all again next year. 
My name's Hassan Khan, and I wish you a great start to the new year with good health and massive fish. Tight lines, cheers, ciao, and Alfie Zane. <laughs>